Hello everybody, welcome to the official replay cast of the Group G Round 2 match between Mata Balitos and his Undead up against the Ivy SP and his Skaven. I can tell you that Mata Balitos is Mexican and qualified on the PC via the FMBB qualifier, while the Ivy SP is unsurprisingly Spanish. Spanish? Spanish and qualified through the Copa PDM. There you go, and I can also show you the table at this moment. The moment of this match. <laughs> Nuru beat Rio Bravo already, so Diavi or Matablitos can, you know, pull even with Rio Bravo and uh, hope to qualify at the end. So there you go. Um, Matabolitos won the toss, chose to receive. Has two guard, a tackle, two tackle, two guard, a sure hands and a block. So very, very actually anti Skaven, right? Sure hands, two tackle. So yeah, a bit more anti agility. And DIV has standard Skaven team, one skill on all of the gutters. A guard, he's gone for tackle for the extra skill on the blitzer, and he doesn't have a leader on the thrower and still has the apple. So, very light on rerolls, only two rerolls is very low, very, very low. And then one of everything on the gutters, yeah, and juggernaut. Wait, this is strip ball. What? Okay, so. I don't know why he has strip ball. <laughs> um, that's my uh, that's my take on that. Some people take show hands on a go. That's fair enough, right? Because like you do have blockless blocks with your mummies, so three three re rolls if you tr you don't re really want to re roll the pickup. This is a horrific kick, by the way. Absolutely, uh... The IVSP is definitely going to want to try to get some kind of pressure on here. Makes the pickup. Yeah, so some people take chance. I actually did a pretty pretty decent job of of occupying the space that the Skaven would like to take, right? Like, yeah, they can still take this, but they can't go fully fully in there where they'd like to be. Yes, I would have gone. I would have not blitzed there, or like blitzed this line. Blitzed this line, right? Right? It wasn't down. Certainly not do a deep kick like that where you get stranded and uh, the gutters are going to come down here or something. And the gutters aren't going anywhere. So you make a full cage now anyway, so that's all right. You do have to worry a little bit about the ro roger. Ro roger. I hate just blitzing before making a full cage. I guess we're not making a full cage, by the way, because there are enough players. But screening off the, the rover is pretty good. Gonna play a telephone right away. Wow. Okay, true. Good luck.
1D. Beats him off. And puts the tackler here. With a blockless guy, so goes down. Somehow, the undead have got away with not really protecting the ball at all. <laughs> and get the smash a uh, gut runner here. Still not moving the ball up into a, you know, guard surrounded cage. There we go. Cheeky one. -er. I never really liked leaving the corners open like this, like... Because Skaven could just run so fast, right, they might get a 1D against you. I'm never super happy about this. Like, everything else... Everything else is kind of, like, okay to do this kind of formation, but against Skaven, I never really like it. Yeah, the double tackle whites are great for this matchup, aren't they? For sure. For sure, the double tackle whites are great for this matchup. Well, I'll say that. It's the matchup that they're best at. It only goes wrong if you don't care properly. I mean, it, it, it's only if they're not in range. They, you know, you might think it's not worth them make, making the dice rolls, but they can just make the dice rolls, can't they? Like, they can make the wrong decision and get lucky. I'd rather not allow them to do that. Three D, full power. Killed him. Good God Almighty. Good God Almighty. That killed him. Man, this looks consistently like lacking in ball protection, and yet the rats haven't got close to doing anything. It's wild, isn't it? And now they're just going to run away. <laughs> super interesting, actually. A super interesting half. To see how... They haven't lost too many players, right? Two. And it looked constantly... I guess because it looked... It looked light because everything else was doing stuff, right? So that's why the ball always looked a bit open because his other players were doing things. Because his other players were doing things, it was hard to get there and stuff. But yeah, I mean, I, I did. Well, I wasn't a fan. I'll be honest. But it's uh, it's looking all right, isn't it? I'd full Vengalus this. The, uh, like with the guards, it'd only be a 3D uphill, wouldn't it? But of course, we're going to blitz this guy. It's the full pow. And then stand up. Classic. That's a weird use of tackle, isn't it? Like, I guess I get that he's got skillless players and stuff, but like... You could have um, Blitz to go with tackle. He's blitzing the, he's blitzing the tackle white instead.
Hmm. Man, these good is just not going for the balls. It's sad, isn't it? Sad rats not going for the ball. I guess he really was scared of all the tacklers. He's only got two rerolls as well, hasn't he? So just rely on the one turn. The rats might get pressure on to uh, get an early score here, to be fair. Roger can blitz in. I'll just blitz the mummy. And still not fight. Kill his own Skaven. Yep, good. Best big guy in the game, everyone. Yeah, that's what they tell me. Thank God, thank God he made that critical blitz, eh? Wow, what a great, what a great big guy. Very much worth killing your own player for. Really, really good. Fantastic. Best big guy in the game. I mean, to be fair, one turn of the game, the Rat Ogre is the best big guy in the game. But only one turn. He's good for one turn out of 16. And for that one turn out of 16, can win you the game, can't it? So. <laughs> Thanks, Napalm. <laughs> yeah, Jim, that's it, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't have hit diving at any point. See, bros, yeah. But just not interested, is he? He has only got two... Re to be fair, this is the problem. The problem with his build is he's only got two rerolls, right? So... If he goes for a dive, he's likely to lose a gutter. And... He doesn't want to use a reroll at all on defense because he needs he needs two for the one turn. So he's kind of by virtue of only having two rerolls, he's basically made made his bed and he's got a lie in it, right? He just has to play it like this. He just has to play it the way it is, passive and hope for the one turn. Vicious ref. So the players to push him twice and then get the sidestep and then push him once and then I don't know what this defense is <laughs> this is uh, not a defense he could have maybe done like a crazy fill here but probably not right it's probably best just to do it the simple way but he's already uh, it's already uh, Oh, it's to hit him. He doesn't get three dice here, does he? He could have maybe put in the guard in and another player there, so he could have had three dice. So he didn't make it three dice for himself. So he definitely should have made it three dice. So yeah, that's a mistake there. This guard should have been out, and guard should have come in there. And a player should have, a gutter should have come in here, right? And then it would have been a three dice. And then it would have been five, six, seven, eight. Oh, it couldn't have been, it couldn't have been a two into it. It would have been a three into a two. And then he would have uh, sidestepped up to there. And then pushed him for that out for the second. But So yeah, did do it slightly wrong. Oh, 
block guard armor. Yeah, you can't you can't just do it rely on a two dice for them, really. You have to make it three. That's why I think two guard storm vermin is better really. Oh he's got a stabbing, he's got a stabbing storm vermin. Keeps the uh setup. He's just going to try a one turn. I mean, he kind of did that, except he didn't cancel the assist, so it didn't really. It wasn't. Oh my god. It wasn't a three into a two. <laughs> the dub scores. <laughs> it was a bit unlucky. That was wild, though. That was a wild play to go for the one turn. And, uh, yep. Yeah. Full pals in. Wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Hasn't blitzed yet, has he, so... One tackler stays out, so he's only got one tackle white. Yeah, they, well, they, they both lost. Divi and Matablitos both lost. I don't think you have to go for a one turn, though, right? Even if you're still trying to win, you can still just go for a more comfortable two turn. You don't have to go for a one turn, do you? go that's uh that was quite quite the opening turn push but it's uh, the wrestler not the the stripper is uh the stripper the stripper is cast so doesn't get the gowl Glorious mummy move. Wait, that was that was there was a bolt. There, there wasn't a bolt down there, was there? Oh, <laughs> yeah, there was. Yeah, misclick. Oh dear! Unless he thought it was the stripper. Like either he thought it was the stripper, or it was a mis it was a misread or a misclick, wasn't it? One of the two. Oh, I have definitely blitzed here, right, to try and uh, chain him out. But I think he's just going to try and dodge, which could be fatal. It's not. It's to foul that uh, storm vermin as well. <laughs> Injured! <laughs> Alright, you reroll the double push. Yeah, okay, then misclick. Yeah. It's hard. Plus, we could have been running out of time and stuff. Like, you know, nervous as death. I mean, I, I've I've had two games in this now, and it's it's horrible. It's absolutely horrible playing in this tournament. <laughs> like, you know, obviously it's great playing in it, but you know what I mean? Like, it's hyper stressful. It's absolutely hyper stressful. No. Fails the dodge in. Yeah, playoff nerves. Art doesn't get them, but you know, Art doesn't get to the second round either. Way! <laughs> I 
think it's completely normal to get playoff nerves. Completely normal. And especially with this. Especially with this. Oh, killed him. Dead, dead, dead. Oh, wow. It's, it's turning into a massacre now, isn't it? <laughs> Everything's a power to removal. Team reroll, he just murder. He's just completely... <laughs> <laughs> He's seeing red. I know how it feels. I know how it feels. It does. <laughs> it does happen. <laughs> oh, dear. oh, pushes. Well, you know he's got the rover on the ball, but I mean, it's it's going to be pretty easy to deal with, I think. When you've only got, you know, only three, four, five, six. You've got seven players in the pitch. Can't expect to do much with seven players in the pitch. I mean, maybe for a blood balling god, but uh, mere mortals really struggle. Ooh, I thought you pushed it the wrong way. It looked like he'd hit the wrong square, didn't it? There we go, this is 2 0. No, it's not. He wasn't in range. I thought he, the, when he went, when he went, I thought he was going to be in range. But I guess there's no sacking gutters, is there? So it's fine. Did this guy just not move? Oh, come down. Uphill, looking for a double pow. <laughs> I mean, like you're basically invincible, aren't you? As a strength three bludger at this point. He was in range with two rushes, but you, know, you, you can't rush when all your opponent can do is uphill, uphill power you, realistically. So there you go, 2 0 up. Is almost certain victory versus seven rats. Quick snap. He's lost his uh, sidestepper, so <laughs> he was coming in with a roll gun. <laughs> oh god, a roll gun. Oh hey, oh, he's got him in range. The Roger did his job. Finally. <laughs> Roll the one. <laughs> is he gonna is is he gonna foul? He's surely he has to foul with somebody. The rookie? Rush foul? Like if he scores, there's a chance he rolls some dice and gets the ball off you. So you, you do actually have to, to rush here and foul him. I might have, uh, you know, waited waited till the end to double rush and pick it up with the, uh, yeah, the block guy. The block guy. No, the block guy can reach. So the block guy's fouling instead of the rue key. That's the removal. Bosh. 
one D pal the rogue. <laughs> well, it's been pretty brutal dice for the rats. But um You know, I think we can all enjoy rats getting players killed, can't we? Maybe not Sol and Chunter, but everybody else. Everybody else can cheer for rats getting killed. Makes the rush, gets the power. Oh, perfect timing, Slim. There we go. <laughs> Injured. Oh no, it wasn't the Rogue! No! I didn't hit Blitz the Rogue! No! <laughs> no! Why wasn't he killing the Rogue? Oh man. Tragedy. Absolute tragedy. Imagine just blitzing a lineman when he had the roger right there. That's outrageous. That is outrageous. Nope. He falls over and uh, that's it. Turn 16. Oh, I guess there's a chance of 3 0. No re rolls. Is this a 4 plus pass? Yep. Fails. Wow. Well, there you go. Um, a great game for haters of rats. <laughs> Two dead. What's this? Three, six, seven cas total. Beautiful. Beautiful stuff. Uh, love to see dead rats. No offence to D.I.V. of course. Um, commiserations to him. Congratulations to Matabolitos. And that makes the table look like this. Uh, so Nuru's last game is versus D.I.V. So he could lose that but only one of Matabolitos and Rio Bravo can win. So Nuru is definitely qualified. And uh, basically, if Matabolitos and Rio Bravo draw, Matabolitos will qualify. And if either of them wins, they qualify. But whatever happens, Nuru is definitely qualified. So there you go. Um, Obviously, congrats to Matavlitos and I guess to Nuru again. There you go. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.